Yes, dear students. Now I am going to discuss here very important points which generally uh, in general study we do not take care of them. Here is a graph I will discuss later on. But first I tell you here Hooke's law. The topic is related with elasticity. Now we Hooke's law. So I told you when we apply pair of deforming forces, then body get strained and strained body apply internal force to restore its shape and size. That internal force will be called stress and the deformation uh, uh, occurring there is called strain. So Hooke's law, simple law. According to this law, according to this law, for small deformation, deformation or small. Strain. After deformation, imagine in terms of strain. The stress produced by material is directly. Proportional to strain. Here it is very important to understand stress proportional to strain. Now, for small deformation, as later on. We can say something other also, like within elastic limit. I will discuss later on what is the elastic limit. But simply, if the deformation is not large, then stress proportional to strain. Some people may think, okay, why not strain proportional to stress? Actually, stress I told you is the internal force in the area, which is equal to applied force. But we measure the stress produced by material by measuring external force. So generally people think when we apply force only body get strain and therefore strain is proportional to stress. No, this is not the case because strained body, the body which has got deformation only, whether it's small or large, will be applying internal force. I, I, I start, if this choke is there, really, no, no, no strain developed, but when I uh, pull it, it gets strained. The, I told you in earlier uh, video that uh, strain may not be uh, uh, visible, visually, it may be small, may be large. So, strained body apply stress. And larger the strain, more the stress. So we can say here that according to Usla, I told you according to this law, for small deformation or small strain, the stress is produced by material proportional to strain. That is, that is stress proportional to strain or stress is equal to I write capital E into strain. Here E constant of probability here capital E is the constant of 
from force liberty. Proportionality and is called modulus, modulus of elasticity. Modulus of elasticity. I will discuss modulus of elasticity later on. Now, most of the materials obey this law, but many materials are there which do not obey Ohm's law. There are some materials which do not Obey Hooke's law. Dear learner, uh, please uh, read a uh, standard book like NCRT. People are in hurry. When I was French, I was very much confused about all such things. Throughout my student life, I kept on thinking that this is really wrong, strength for to stress. Go in deep study of the books. Don't make your own conclusion. Read the book first. Think over that. Read again. Again think. Then you will get something clear. So this was little about books law. I told you because I have to explain this graph. What is this graph? But remember that within a small deformation, stress goes on to strain. Uh, and uh, stress upon strain is called uh, here E equal to stress upon strain. So please, you know, uh, I will come to, uh, to later on. Now I come to stress strain graph. Stress dash strain curve kalo ya graph kalo. Curve or graph. This graph is between strain and stress, which is stress, tensile stress. Actually, if we take a wire here, we can study this graph how we take a wire of cylinder and apply some force. This force applied will increase the length. If we keep on increasing this uh, um, force applied, actually force is equal to mg. And force divided by this area will give you stress produced, applied. The stress, I told you, is measured in terms of external force. And by noting the increasing length, we can calculate the strain which is equal to Increase length divided by real length. Here it is longitudinal load strain. Delta L upon L. So when we study this graph, different material may show different graph, but a typical graph which represent uh, all classes of material obeying Muxla, etc. Is this. There are many other materials which I told do not have this type of graph. But majority of materials, solid material like steel, metals, all metals have nearly the same graph. So what is the graph? This graph is here between stress and strain. Strain is 
noted this way. So we find here on this graph there is point A up to point A in a given point OA of this curve. The graph is straight line between OA between points OA uh, the curve is a straight line and hence uh, and hence uh, here we can say stress bohner to strain. Now there is point B where between A and B the graph is not a straight line and stress produced uh, does not follow proportionally this proportionality. But if we reload if we reload the wire the wire regains its original dimensions and point B here point B is called elastic limit or Ill point, ill point, the stress, the stress corresponding to two point uh, B is gold. Yield strength Yield strength You may think over here What is the meaning of yield? What is the meaning of yield? What is the meaning of yield? Actually uh, yield means Body here stop material stop producing strain. Uh, in other words, you can say some material gets sundered, sundered uh, before the applied force. It the uh, position is stopped. That uh, that point is called ill point. Suppose two wrestlers are. Uh, playing then later or sooner weaker is strength the wrestler weaker strength is and uh, does not oppose the, the uh, stronger that point is here ill Hindi in Hindi like that so that is ill point B is the ill point then actually in, in A B the proportionality region is not present. But at point B if the material is reloaded, it regains original dimension. Now if beyond point B corresponding strain is this, if we further increase the stress, then strain increases rapidly and uh, graph is shown from B to B actually in this region B to B the strain increases rapidly and between point B and C sorry 
set now we end up permanent set this is the formation this called permanent set and this is the formula also is called plastic deformation this deformation permanent deformation this permanent deformation it also called as plastic deformation Actually, we should be very much aware about the terminology in different uh, forms. Deformation, plastic deformation. What when it happens when uh, the st stress is applied beyond point C. At point C, if we remove this load, then there will be permanent deformation. Body will not gain original position. Now beyond point C, uh, at C in graph, the strain increases rapidly, and at point D, body stops producing strain, sorry stress. Beyond point D, additional strain is produced even after. Uh, we decrease the stress beyond point D, beyond point D, additional strain is produced even the stress equal to applied force per unit area is reduced And at point E, 
there are a fracture. Now point D here, point D here is corresponding to ultimate ultimate tensile stress sigma u sigma u here is called ultimate मतलब आखिरी जो दिखा सकता है वो स्ट्रेन इससे आगे स्ट्रेन पैदा नहीं होगी अल्टीमेट टेंसाइल स्ट्रेंथ और स्ट्रेस बियॉन्ड पॉइंट डी इट फर्दर एडिशनल स्ट्रेन इंक्रीजेज क्विकली इफ पॉइंट डी एंड ई पॉइंट वॉट इज पॉइंट डी अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ पॉइंट एंड ई द फ्रैक्चर पॉइंट इफ फ्रैक्चर पॉइंट एंड अल्टीमेट स्ट्रेंथ पॉइंट आर क्लोज इफ पॉइंट डी एंड ई आर क्लोज then material is said to be to be ductile sorry is said to be brittle i'm somewhere else sorry is said to be brittle brittle means brittle means it will break By applying small forces, it is brittle. Now, if they are apart, when you get point, if point, if points D and E are apart. then material is ductile and ductile materials cone which are said to be ductile and what is the use of ductility ductile means they can be drawn into wires oh no no okay. that way Ductile material. There are some material which do not obey Hooke's uh, law at all, and they can be their length can be increased nine times their original length. For rubber, you get this kind of graph like this. Uh, the the met the wire of those material can be increased. Uh, stress in the graph. Such materials whose length can be increased many times, and they get uh, the, they get their original shape and size after stress removed, are called elastomer. 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 And for rubber band. so that way i have explained you this graph in detail need for further uh, uh, clarification uh, read the book if something may be left by me because of this time go very fast here when we uh, please i hope you will enjoy this and will learn so many thing easily later on